Living in Denver isn't as easy as it looks. It takes a lot of work to make money and buy things around here, especially for me. My name is Douglas Copperfield, and I am a railroad conductor that lives in Denver, Colorado. I have a wife, Marilyn, and my daughter, Nancy, and my son, David. We live in a small house just outside the downtown area. My boss is not very happy with me lately. I am not making as much as my family and I would like, but I can't figure out how and why. Douglas, are you off work? I need to tell you goodbye. Yes, goodbye. I'm going to be back around 7 o'clock tonight. Good morning, boss. How are you today? Doing fine. Doing fine? We have a lot of work today because our schedule is full. Okay, then. I will get right to work. Wait, today you will be on paperwork because George is sick. Will you be paying me any more than normal? No, same amount. Why? Because I need more money to provide for my family. Well, we'll see if the when your shift is done. I will think about it. Okay, I guess that could work. At the end of his shift. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, sure, so see you I tomorrow. Get... When he gets home. Hello, family. Is dinner ready? Sure, it's on the table, Dad. Mom made potatoes and steak. Where's the money? You got the money right. Please tell me you got the money. I worked my hardest at the office today, and in return, I only got $10. What, are you crazy? Why'd you come back here? Okay, that's a little harsh, but look, if you don't get extra money, I promise you that I will leave you. I'll try again tomorrow, and if that doesn't work, I'm out of chances. The next morning. Good morning, sir. Douglas, how are you? Well, not good. You see, my family wishes if I would get a pay raise. So we can afford a lot more things. What I am getting at is, I need a raise. No, I won't do that. I can't until I have more money, which is at the end of the year. Okay then, I quit. I want nothing to do with this anymore. If I can't have enough money. You went to the train, train station and bought a ticket to Wyoming. Yes, one ticket please. Okay then, that will be $25. This is all I have. Okay, that's it. Have a good trip. Before the train left the station. Wait, Douglas, please don't leave, said his wife. Why should I stay? I have no job and no family. Listen, I didn't give you a raise because I put you in a new position for money. Your wife talked to me. Please stay for the kids. Okay. I'll never leave. I love you all. Thank you. And from then on, Douglas lived a good life. He got a lot more money than he did, and his family was happy with it.